few days ago, I made a video uh, holding up a small autograph book and some other things from a lifelong collection that was recently consigned to me for sale. And uh, as I'm going through the collection, I'm going to make some videos of some items that uh, I like that uh, I hope you will too. And one of the things that I thought were really cool, I remember these when I was a kid. Uh, these came from Kellogg's Cereal. Uh, during the 1970-71 NHL season. Um, I'm not sure if you could order the set directly from the company. I'm assuming that was probably uh, what happened. I don't think these were inserted inside boxes of cereal. Uh, the artwork was done by a gentleman named Bob Pelkowski, and he uh, started a company called um, Sports Caricatures. He started out working in hockey. He was from Chicago. He did artwork for the Chicago Blackhawks in their program programs and uh, this was one of the first things he did on a national scale through Kellogg's. He also did the artwork for a lot of the Max Milk um, uh, promotion that came out a few years later featuring the NHL but uh, the amazing thing about these is just how intricate he gets across the character of each player. It's not a big set. There's only six cards in the set. Let me turn that off. Maybe it'll show better but the first thing that you see on Bobby Hull is the banana blade stick and the puck. Mr. Puck is praying for, for Bobby to be easy on him because he knows in a few seconds he's going to be traveling uh, over 100 miles an hour towards the goal. Uh, so I thought that was very cool. There's Phil Esposito. And uh, I think as I'm reading these sort of upside down, there's what looks like it's supposed to be maybe the Art Ross trophy. I don't know, but 159 points is, is put on the trophy, I think. And Phil was obviously having a great year in 1970-71. There's Stan Makita, uh, an even more pronounced curve on the stick. And Mr. Puck does not look happy with... Uh, what is about to happen. Uh, there's the big M, Frank Mahovlich. Again, just, just, uh, I think, is there fire coming off of uh, Frank's blade there? Just an amazing detail on these. I love caricatures. I think uh, it was uh, something that is sadly not really a thing anymore, but uh, unless you're going on a trip, maybe through Central Park or something. Uh, there's Rod Gilbert. I didn't know Rod had such bushy eyebrows. Um, I guess we'd have to ask Mr. Polkowski about that, but uh, that's the takeaway on Rod's image. And the last one in the set was Norm Ullman. Norm Ullman was featured in a lot of food issues. I remember as a kid growing up, I think he was uh, genial and a gentleman and very, uh, very amenable to doing product endorsements uh, when a lot of other players didn't. Um, so there again is the set of six. And the reason that, uh, well, these are cataloged. I mean, Bobby Burrell wrote the greatest book on hockey cards ever, the Vintage Hockey Card uh, Price Guide, and he goes into detail about this set. If you don't have that book, you should order it by Bobby Burrell, an amazing book. Uh, and uh, if I hadn't known before the year of issue, I would have through this. I'm going to cover the gentleman's name as best I can. But as a kid... He waited and waited and waited for the set to come in the mail after ordering it. He told me every day he would phone home and, and ask if the set had come. And when you're a kid, you know, a week seems like a month and a month seems like a year. And when it finally arrived in the mail, he was so elated and so happy, he kept the envelope. So this is the original envelope that Kellogg sent it to him and it's postmarked, I believe, 14 November 71 and it cost five cents to send this in the mail. So I thought that was very cool. It adds even greater eye appeal to an already fantastic set. These were iron-ons meant for kids to, you know, put them on a t-shirt or something like that. And uh, it's referred to as the 1970-71 Kellogg's iron-on NHL set. 
complete set of six. These will be going up for auction on eBay as a set. I don't break things up. I like the sanctity of sets. I think there's something really um, very pure about a complete set. I like that. I like selling it that way. Uh, it will go on eBay, uh, or sorry, yes, on eBay under my user ID, which is Vahuda, V-A-H-O-O-T-A. -O -O uh, it should be on there within the next few days if anybody wants to look. And if you reside in Canada and you have food issues or similar things from the late 60s, early 70s, the older the better, and you do not want to sell your collection yourself, I can help you sell it, whether it be consignment for certain things or buying it outright for cash. All you need to do, go on the website, aasportscards.com. You can read about me, I guess, give some background into my business. Pick up the phone, give me a call if you want to cut right to the chase, 604-726-1774. We can talk about your collection and see, um, you know, what, what the best option is for you, whether it's consignment or outright sale. And uh, you can... Uh, I would love you to do that. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be great. Thanks for watching, everybody. More videos to come. Stay safe, stay healthy. And again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Bye.